asked people what they wanted to do. I walked in, he's like, what are you going to do? And I said, I want to play guitar in a rock band. And he stopped and he said, well, good luck to you. Thank you very much. It was the quickest one ever. I walked out, left school at 17, played in many bands and did jobs that showed me what I didn't want to do for the rest of my life. Right. And then I managed to get a break when I was 21. I auditioned for so many people, including the Sex Pistols, right. Iron Maiden, oh, right across any advert we're going, I went to. And then I auditioned for a band called The Members, and they yeah. said, you're in, first gigs in two days time. Here's a tape, learn all the songs. Oh, wow. So I had to learn all the songs from a really bad tape, and I had to start the first song of the set. Oh, my Because God. it was a, the guitar intro, and it, it was, I remember it, but it was good, it was good being under pressure. And I played with the members, then everything took off, and I played with them for the entire span of their career, which was about five or six years then. We made three albums, we toured the world, it was brilliant. Then that broke up. So, going back to that, before yes. you just, you were going over that bit very quickly there. Oh, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, so yeah. five years, mm. touring the world, yeah. seeing everything, enjoying yourself, part of the punk movement. I thought all my dreams had come true actually, yeah, naively, um, but it was amazing from leaving school to doing shitty jobs and playing in bands, mm -hmm. semi-pro bands I think you call them, mm -hmm. then I, we had a record deal with Virgin, we toured Britain immediately supporting Devo and I watched them every night from the side of the stage learning because they were so professional wow. and it was a really good way to see Learn about stage presence, I suppose. So that's really interesting that you should say that. Mm. You know, when you think about punk, you don't normally think about actual, you know, stage presence, learning the craft, doing the things, because it had a very much of a reputation of get up there and just do your own stuff, didn't it, with that rebellion. But actually, the skill behind it is quite remarkable, isn't it? I tell you what it is. Punk is a very broad term, and to this day, it can mean anything, particularly in America, from literally people making a horrible noise. There was the first wave of punk where people were angry. It was a movement. It was a knee-jerk reaction against, you know, the three-day week and the minor strikes and unemployment and all of those things. And youth were angry and needed a platform and a kickback to the dinosaur bands that seemed to have a monopoly on everything. Yeah. So that started it. But then very quickly, ones that didn't improve musically got left behind. Yeah. And it became more than just making a loud noise and shouting and spitting. And so. The second wave were people that started to develop musically, and I like to think the members were involved in that because we weren't pure three loud chords. No. We we had a reggae touch too, and in the advert that I answered in the Melody Maker, it said wanted lead guitarist for rock rugger yeah. band, and it was actually reggae, <laughs> oh, right. and I'd never seen the word before, and I didn't know what it meant, and um, and I didn't know, but I learned, I joined them, and quickly learned about reggae as well. And because uh, our second single that did well was called Offshore Banking Business and yes. that was sort of white man's reggae almost a bit before the police started doing it, yes, yeah. um, which yeah. they also did. And uh, Yeah, good band, good band. So that, then of course, five years down the line, it, it well, We up. made three albums, we toured yeah. the world a lot, which was amazing. You get to, I always said it was better than joining the Navy. <laughs> you know, you got to be in America. Oh, what an eye opener. The first time I went there, I loved it and I've loved it ever since. Really? You can't be indifferent to America. Some people hate it, some love it. Yeah. And it's nothing to do with politics because, you know, it's on the ground, everywhere. when you meet people, there's politics everywhere. Yeah. England sucks if you just look at the politics. Yeah. But uh, the people there are enthusiastic and I really like Americans and the country. I think it's amazing. Uh,